Aunt Nancy and Old Man Trouble. Phyllis Root illustrated built by Phyllis Root, illustrated by David Perkins. All right, I'm gonna use my southern accent here. All right. Aunt Nancy should have known old man trouble was in the neighborhood. Hadn't the spring out back gone and ride up this morning when she went to fill her water bucket. And when she bent over the spring hole to see what had happened to the water, didn't her good luck three-legged wooden buffalo nickel fall right out of her pocket, bloop, into the hole, and no way to fetch it up again. Here was the sun barely poking up in the sky, and already bad luck was hopping around like rabbits at a family reunion. Aunt Nancy should have known old man trouble was around all right. But she didn't. When there came a knocking and a thumping on her door, what did she do but open it? And there stood old man Trouble. He was dressed in a long black coat, tall black hat, and shiny black shoes. He was swinging a silver-headed walking stick, and his pointy white teeth gleamed in his pointy black beard. A good day to you, ma'am, said old man Trouble, sliding one of those sh shiny black shoes into the doorway. Quick as a whisker, Aunt Nancy slams the door and bolts it shut. She knows who old man Trouble is, all right, and no way is she gonna let him in. Now, ma'am, says old man Trouble from the other side of the door, you know it ain't no use to try and keep me out. Bolt your doors and windows shut. I'll just drift down your chimney. Plug up your chimney flue. I'll blow in through the cracks in the wall. Might as well open that door and let me in. Old Man Trouble keeps knocking on the door. And soon or later, he knows Aunt Nancy gonna have to let him in. Aunt Nancy, she sees the truth of that. But she knows a thing or two herself. So when Old Man Trouble knocks again, Aunt Nancy winks at her cat Ezekiel, opens the door wide, and says, Might as well come in. Old Man Trouble steps in through the door as big as you please. Ezekiel takes one look at him. He hits his house and shoots out the door faster than a firecracker on the 4th of July. Fast as he is, Ezekiel isn't fast enough. The door nips shut on his tail and he lights off for the nearest tree, yowling and howling. That's the kind of thing that happens when old man trouble comes around. Aunt Nancy shuts the door and says, all polite, seat yourself and stay a spell. Oh, don't mind if I do, says old man trouble. I wouldn't say no to a cup of tea neither. So Aunt Nancy puts the kettle on the fire, and the next thing you know, the fire's gone out. And when she blows on the coals to start it up again, all she gets in her face is a face full of ash. Out the corner of her eye, she spies old man trouble grinning. But Aunt Nancy, she pretends not to notice. Well now, here's a blessing. Aunt Nancy said, the fire's gone out, and a good thing, too, on a hot day like this, I'll just keep you a nice, cool glass of water. There's a drop or two left in the bucket. Aunt Nancy reaches for a glass of water, and don't that glass just kind of jump out sideways out her fingers, splash water down her front, and crash into a million pieces on the floor. Old man Trouble still grinning through his beard, but Aunt Nancy, she makes like she don't see him. Hooey, don't that feel good, she says. Coos me right off. Old Man Trouble, he's not grinning quite so big as Aunt Nancy sweeps up the pieces. There's another blessing, she says. Didn't that glass have a crack in it and me too cheap to throw it out? Now nobody will get themselves cut trying to drink out of it. Old Man Trouble, he's not grinning very much at all. And I can get you another glass, says Aunt Nancy. But the spring's gone dry this morning. Sit yourself down and rest then, says old man Trouble. Aunt Nancy starts to sit in a chair when she creak, crack, the chair's lying on its side with one leg broken. Good thunk, Aunt Nancy's sitting on the floor. Oh, now, ain't that a mercy, Aunt Nancy says, picking herself up, just when I was wondering where I was going to get me some kindling wood. 
Old Man Trouble stomps his silver-headed walking stick on the floor, and Nancy can see he's mighty upset. Don't nothing bother you, ma'am, says Old Man Trouble through his teeth. Not today it don't, says Aunt Nancy, fetching a rocking chair. I just knowed it was my lucky day when I saw spring dried up this morning. No more mud tracking up my floor, no more dampness aching in my bones. Old Man Trouble starts to write, grin again. Hmm, reckon that'd be real trouble to you, ma'am, if that spring come back again, he says. Oh, that it would, Aunt Nancy says. But be it as this is my lucky day, I'm not worried. You brought me nothing but good luck, and I thank you kindly. I'd better be getting along then, says Old Man Trouble. Aunt Nancy sees him to the door. Come again, she says all polite. Oh, I will, says Old Man Trouble, stepping outside. Say, ma'am. He asked, do you hear water running somewhere? Aunt Nancy shakes her head. Hmm. Don't hear a thing, she says. Old man trouble grins so hard his face about to split. Oh, you will, ma'am, <laughs> he says. He tips his hat, sets off down the road, swinging his walking stick and humming to himself. Aunt Nancy watches the back of old man trouble away down the road. All the while, she's listening to that sweet sound of water gurgling, and she's grinning pretty big herself. Calm down, cat, she says to Ezekiel up in the tree. You and me can sit and rock and rest a spell. Aunt Nancy says she figured she earned it. She has a big grin. Good night. I love you.